as smart as we think we are. And oh boy, does this next one do exactly that. You know that golden telescope we humans built? Uh, it's taken some mind-blowing pictures. It's amazing. It's only 320 million years after the Big Bang. That we can literally look back in time uh, with these massive telescopes. But to actually see it, and you're like, there's just no, there's no doubting it now. The JWST has provided scientists with more questions than answers. And in the search for answers, they've come up with many theories. Some posit the existence of dark stars, while others theorize that the universe is much, much older. Join us as we take a look at ancient galaxies that defy explanation and the cutting-edge theories scientists have come up with. Will these theories be proven right? Let's find out. Back in July of 2022, the JWST delivered its deepest infrared images at the time. It unveiled an extraordinary view of the distant universe, capturing the deepest and sharpest infrared image to date. Webb's first deep field showcases the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723, brimming with thousands of galaxies, including the faintest infrared objects ever recorded. This deep field image is an intricate composite of images at different wavelengths, encompassing a total exposure time of 12.5 hours. SMAX 0723 is acting as a gravitational lens due to its mass, and it magnifies some of the more remote galaxies. The image provides a glimpse of SMAX 0723, as it existed 4.6 billion years ago, with numerous galaxies positioned both in front of and behind the cluster. These galaxies emitted light billions of years ago, enabling us to peer back in time and observe some of the youngest galaxies within a billion years after the Big Bang. The expansion of the universe stretched their light to infrared wavelengths. Researchers have extracted valuable information about these galaxies' masses, ages, histories, and compositions from this groundbreaking data. This technology returns a full suite of details about each galaxy, the data says that light took 13.1 billion years before hitting Webb's mirrors. What this means is that thanks to this deep field image, scientists found some of the oldest galaxies ever. Among the results, we found one peculiar ancient galaxy. It was named after the discoverer's young daughter. One of the most ancient galaxies was named after a scientist's young daughter. This was Maisie's galaxy. This galaxy represents a profound window into the cosmos's earliest moments. It may appear as a simple, luminous orange blotch, but Maisie's galaxy signifies a significant leap in astronomy. When the universe was a mere 390 million years old, this is considered incredibly young in cosmic terms. This makes it one of the four earliest galaxies ever glimpsed by humanity. The galaxy was named after Stephen Finkelstein's nine-year-old daughter. He talked about the significance of Maisie's galaxy's discovery. It resides in a period of the universe's history so remote that it was beyond our observational capabilities until the arrival of the JWS. Maisie's galaxy was identified as one of the oldest ones. In recognition of its importance, this remarkable galaxy was given a special name, distinguishing it from the JWST's other celestial findings, which often bear more formal designations like CERs 1019, CERs 2782, and CERs 746. This celestial recognition places young Maisie in the company of renowned astronomers. However, Maisie holds a unique distinction, achieving this honor at the age of nine. Stephen Finkelstein stumbled upon this galaxy and the data from the JWST on his daughter's ninth birthday. And since she had always wanted a galaxy named after her, he playfully called it Maisie's Galaxy. When it came time to publish the findings, the name stuck and the galaxy was officially recognized as Maisie's galaxy. Maisie herself is overjoyed to share her name with a galaxy of such cosmic importance. Determining the age of galaxies in the early universe, however, is a more complex endeavor than confirming a birthday. It involves using a measure known as redshift to discern a galaxy's distance, how long its light has traveled to reach us, and consequently, the cosmic era when we observe it. Different colors in light correspond to different wavelengths, for example, red light has long wavelengths and low frequencies, while blue light has short wavelengths and high frequencies. When light travels from a distant source, like an early galaxy, to us, the universe's expansion makes that source move away from us. This causes the wavelengths of the light from the source to stretch out, lose energy, 
and change frequency. In simpler terms, high-frequency short-wavelength blue light gradually becomes low-frequency long-wavelength red light. Astronomers call this change redshift because it shifts light towards the red part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Sometimes, it even goes into the realm of infrared light, which humans can't see. The longer light has been traveling through the cosmos, the more it redshifts. For early galaxies like Maisie's, light has journeyed for about 10 billion years before reaching the JWST's mirrors. Consequently, light that once belonged to the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum when it left Maisie's galaxy has shifted down to the infrared section by the time it reaches the space telescope. This is why the JWST is an incredible tool for studying objects in the early universe. This space telescope excels at detecting long wavelength infrared light. In fact, Without the JWST, finding galaxies like Maisie's would have been nearly impossible. The Hubble Space Telescope, while fantastic, wasn't large enough and didn't cover the necessary red wavelengths to observe such distant, highly redshifted galaxies. We know that the JWST detected highly evolved galaxies just 325 million years after the Big Bang, but these galaxies have prompted a radical hypothesis among cosmologists. One cosmologist is saying that the universe may be twice as old as we thought it was. So, did Gupta have sufficient evidence to support his claim? To understand his theory, we need to first understand how cosmologists arrived at these numbers. Gupta's research would likely need further investigation and theoretical development. The standard model of cosmology asserts the Big Bang happened around 13.8 billion years ago. Gupta's paper primarily considers supernova data, which is considered insufficient by scientists. Rigorous testing in various ways is necessary. Gupta's theory has garnered significant media attention, though. But scientists attribute this to irresponsible hype and question the scientific basis of the paper itself. Let us know in the comments below and leave a like for more.